Did you recently have sex and now your pubic region is extremely itchy? You may have been infected by pubic lice, the STD known as crabs. Here's your guide on how to get rid of crabs. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Did you ever have head lice as a kid? Remember how itchy it was? Now imagine that, but on your pubic hair. In this video, we're going to talk about pubic lice, or crabs. We'll cover how you get crabs, the symptoms, and the treatment. While you're watching, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. The infection that we call crabs is caused by little parasites that really do look like crabs under a microscope. Their scientific name is Thyrus pubis. It's transmitted through sexual activity with an infected person or coming into contact with contaminated objects like clothing or bedding. The only risk factors are interacting with infected people or objects. The most common symptom is intense itching, especially at nighttime in the pubic region, although it is possible to spread the infection to other areas of the body. You may also have inflammation and get a rash caused by the parasites biting your skin, their feces, and from them burrowing into your skin. Treatment involves both non-medical and medical strategies. The non-medical strategies include cleaning your pubic region very well and using creams or lotions to soothe the itching and inflammation. You don't need to shave your pubic hair if you don't want to. Then there are three medications you can use. They're all creams and your doctor can give you the proper instructions for how to use them. They're named permethrin, malathione, and lindane. Lindane cannot be used in some instances, such as if you're pregnant, so make sure to discuss your medical history with your doctor before using it. There are no long-term complications of the infection. However, the itching and rash might take up to two weeks to resolve. If you were itching hard enough to break the skin, then it's possible to get a skin infection that would need to be treated next. It's difficult to prevent a first-time infection because there are no barriers like condoms that will protect against crabs during sex and you probably won't know if someone is infected until it's too late. But after you're treated, a way to prevent reinfection is to ensure your sexual partners and members of your household are all treated simultaneously. You should also disinfect your house and wash your clothes and bedding in hot water, then not use them for 72 hours. Yes, you can be infected again, either by your partners, household members, or infected objects that were not fully treated or by a new infected person. Thanks for watching. Now hit that subscribe button and like the video. Then check out this other video to keep learning.